Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's gonna be another one all about self-care. I have a haul in here, also a self-care routine, and I'm gonna be taking you on location in my apartment. So we're starting in my bathroom, we're gonna head into my closet, into my living room, into my kitchen, and I'm just gonna share a little haul with you and a self-care routine. Before I get started, I do wanna say there is a sponsor on today's video, and today's video is sponsored by Necessaire, so I'm really excited to work with them. I have their body ritual here that I'm gonna be talking about a little bit further in this video, but a big reason why I've been doing so many self-care videos, if you're new to my channel or if you haven't seen yet i have been struggling with some health issues for the past few months i do have a playlist that i have here on youtube i can put that in my description box one of the first things that we noticed me and my doctor when we did lab work is that my cortisol levels meaning my stress levels were off the charts high so one thing that i've been really focusing on is self-care relaxation taking time off and that has really become a big focus for me right now i've done a few self-care vlogs and things like that in the past but i wanted to share a haul here like I said, I have body care. Um, I have organization. That is a big thing for me. I'm going to take you into my closet. Uh, fitness, which is really big, especially just overall for health and lowering cortisol levels. And then I'm going to take you into my kitchen because I am going to be doing the elimination diet. I talked about this in my last to get ready with me focusing on my lab results. So I'm getting ready to do that and I'm really gonna be focusing on healthy eating and uh, meal prepping. So I bought a few fun items to try to help keep me motivated and you know excited to uh, to start the elimination diet for the next few weeks here. Hope this sounds exciting to you. Again, thank you so much to Necessary for sponsoring this video and let's just get started. Like I mentioned, we're starting in the bathroom because this portion of the video is sponsored by Necessary. I was really excited to work with them because I have seen this brand all over <laughs> i have seen them all over my instagram i've seen them all over my tiktok someone who's very drawn to these types of videos right now of taking care of yourself and living your best life and those types of videos inspire me they're what a lot of the videos that i make as well and i kept seeing these products pop up and i kept seeing these products pop up and so when they reached out to ask if i wanted to work with them i was very excited to try the products and see what i thought for myself a little bit more about the brand i was intrigued by them because they are a clean beauty brand they also use a lot of uh, effective ingredients a lot of active ingredients in their product especially something like the body serum this was one that i was I think this was the one that I was most intrigued to try because I've never tried a product like this before. Necessaire is also certified climate neutral, plastic neutral. So they offer a lot of different products on their website, but what I was most interested and requested to try out was the Body Ritual because these are all products that I want and I need and I use in my everyday life. We have a deodorant gel, like I said, we have the body serum, we have a body lotion, body exfoliator, and also the body wash. I'll take you through each product. There is going to be a link in my description box if you're interested in picking this up or anything else from the Necessaire website. And they did also give me a discount code, which is SM10. The value for the body ritual set is $140, but you can get it at $100 with that additional code. So I'm gonna start off with the body exfoliator because I don't find a lot of body exfoliators that I love. And a lot of products that I've tried out have been more like scrubs, uh, especially like a coffee scrub, which is nice. It feels nice on the body, but a reason why I don't love it is because it makes my shower so dirty. So I oftentimes tend to skip exfoliating because I just don't want the messy cleanup. It is a clear gel consistency, and every single time I've used it in the shower, I have had no issues with messy cleanup. This does come in fragrance-free or eucalyptus. I have eucalyptus in this, and then also the body wash, which I actually really like because it feels feels very spa-like and one thing that I've talked about in a lot of my self-care videos is kind of elevating the self-care game. I see people say like romanticizing your self-care ritual which I really like that because it just gives it makes it a little bit extra a little bit fun like I mentioned even with something like the elimination diet meal prompting you know I tried to buy like cute food containers and just little products that are going to make the whole process a little bit more fun and a little bit more focused on you and your goals and your needs. So a little bit about the body exfoliator. It's to exfoliate, smooth, and soften. It does also have chemical exfoliants like an AHA, BHA blend of glycolic acid. It also has lactic acid and salicylic acid, which is gonna help to remove the dead skin cells. There's also physical exfoliants like bamboo charcoal and pumice, and that's gonna help with softening the skin. It can be good for uneven texture and tone on the body. And like I said, just to help really soften and smooth everything, I do live in a very dry climate. This is such a nice one. Even though it does have the physical and the chemical exfoliants, it's not too rough on my body. The gel-like texture, it's very like, 
kind of smooth apply it um, but at the same time it's removing the skin cells i do also use a self tanner so a lot of times before i am going to self tan i either need to scrub it off which this is great to do it with or you do want to exfoliate your body before you self tan and this is a great gentle exfoliator for all over the body. next up i mentioned the body wash i like this product so much this is definitely a favorite of mine this is one when i first started using it like i said it kind of instantly gives you those spa vibes i do like that a very little bit of product goes a long way there are some body washes that i use where i put you know a certain amount onto my loofah and then by the time i get done with my lower body i'm adding more onto my loofah with this one i just pump a little bit out and then i can use my whole body because it just means that, that this product is going to last longer for me this is good to cleanse nourish and soften the skin so it does feature niacinamide also plant oils really good to strengthen protect the skin and it does include plant surfactants to gently cleanse without stripping also has it the gel like texture and all of the products are vegan and cruelty free I mentioned that i was really intrigued by the body serum because i've never tried a product like this but i thought it would work great for me like i mentioned i do live in a very dry climate i live in the desert and immediately just weeks with from moving from iowa to las vegas i noticed how dry my skin was getting and not just my face changing from oily to dry my entire body so when i saw this product it was definitely one that intrigued me the most so it comes with a pump on it like so it has hyaluronic acid and also niacinamide once again which is great for hydration fragrance free for this one but it can help with dryness also eczema which is something where i have a few eczema spots on especially like my knees and my elbow uh, like i mentioned there's the hyaluronic acid niacinamide and there's also ceramides in here to help retain the skin moisture I like this too because it's not sticky at all uh, and it is also really fast absorbing into the body and so when i put it on i then don't feel like it's transferring onto my clothes or anything like that you can use this all over the body i especially hit those, those spots that i have concerns about especially if you deal with really dry skin you live in a super dry climate i think this would be really beneficial to you but it's just a nice product to have as well the body lotion i love me a good body lotion i don't know how many times i'm gonna say it in this video but i live in a very dry climate and my body was very very dry so body lotions are so key to me and i love ones again kind of going back to romanticizing your self-care routine and your skincare routine just something that feels a little bit elevated i think is so wonderful this lotion is it's so like thick and hydrating and i almost want to say like on the creamy side i don't know if that makes sense for a body lotion but that's kind of what i think when i apply this onto my body and you can apply this all over just like with the serum it's going to be fast absorbing it's not going to be sticky at all your skin instantly feels so much softer this also features the niacinamide plant oils and peptides to help with skin elasticity and firmness so it's really going to help to moisturize nourish and also and also strengthen the skin and applying this also at night too to my whole body especially my my legs are getting really dry that this one is fragrance free especially because my dog does sleep with me and she usually sleeps under the covers and if i do something that does have a fragrance she oftentimes is licking my legs which i don't enjoy so i really like using this one because aries then typically leaves me alone which is great um, but it just really helps keep me all kinds of hydrated which i especially need right now and finally in the body ritual i have the deodorant gel this was something i was very curious to try because deodorants are is definitely one of those products that i struggle with quite a bit and i actually really like in tr trying out new deodorants and see what's working well for me and i've been really enjoying this one i actually just recently got back from a vacation to san diego and this is what i brought with me and i really wanted to test it out and see how it did doing a lot of walking um, you know being gone from my hotel room all day just thought it'd be nice to pop into my travel bag this does have the signature five percent aha blend that's going to help prevent odor treat discomfort coloration and smooth bumpy skin there's also niacinamide and the chamomile flower water which is a plant-based extract that calms skin on contact there's no aluminum no baking soda no parabens no pegs no synthetic fragrance options for fragrance free or eucalyptus this is going to be quick drying it's really easy to apply i love that it doesn't leave any white marks because that's one thing that i absolutely hate the most it leaves no marks on the underarm it doesn't sting either i've had a few other deodorants that kind of sting the underarms sometimes right away and sometimes after like prolonged 
the use of it. But I've been trying this pretty consistently for a couple weeks now and I've had no issues, like no irritation or anything like that. It definitely helps with odor, which is fantastic because that's obviously one of the biggest reasons that I like to wear deodorant. This is the Body Ritual from Necessaire. Again, these products will be linked down below. The Body Ritual is going to be linked down below as well as that discount code of SM10. So you can check those out if there's anything that you are interested in grabbing. I'd love to know if you have tried Necessaire, if you have any favorite products or any recommendations that you would have for me. I always love to hear those in the comments. Thank you so much to Necessaire for sponsoring this portion of this video and talking about elevating your self-care game, your body care, and just how to kind of romanticize some alone time. I think that's a great thing. So again, these are going to be linked down below. And next up, let's head into my closet. Why not? Welcome to my closet. My closet is not clean in every facet right now. I definitely need to organize my shelves behind me. A couple weeks ago, I really went hard because I had clothes all over the floor, off hangers, and my shelves right here were just covered. I mean, I'm going to show a before photo and I'm really quite embarrassed to show this, but I'll show a before photo of what this looked like. And every time I was coming into my closet, I was getting so stressed. I was getting like, I just felt confused and disorganized and I, I didn't know what to do. And I've been talking about how a goal for 2022 was to stay more organized and more consistently organized. But I also mentioned in a video that I heard someone say one time, she felt like her mind looked like her house, her cluttered and disorganized and just everywhere. And I thought, I feel like that too. So that was kind of an even bigger motivator to me to stay consistently organized. And one thing that I was like, I kept putting on my to-do list. I was like, I have to do something about my closet. This is too much for me. Cause again, this shelf right here would just be covered. And I'm like, we have to make a change. So I ended up buying these acrylic organizers and I just got them off of Amazon. Everything is going to be linked down below, but they just have this little handle here. And so I just pop them in like so. And then I organized like nicer pants here, some darker colored jeans, and then you know, more jeans here. And then I just have some shorts in this pile and it has helped me so much. Like I said, I did this a couple weeks ago and so far it has helped me stay organized because even though I had piles lined up earlier, I would come in and I would just throw something on top. And then before I knew it, there I'd be like, where's my favorite shirt? And I'm like going through all the, I'm like, I have to make a change. So I love these. I've seen people use these for like their fridge, um, for offices, bathrooms, different things like that. I wanted them personally for my closet, but I think that they're great. So if you're looking for something to say a little bit more organized, hopefully the before and after shows you how much help these are. And if you are a member to my channel, I do have channel memberships here where I do a member exclusive video every month. It was almost last year, I want to say, that the most voted on was for me to clean and organize my closet. And it was so beautiful. And then it just got away from me again. I am not perfect and I will never pretend to be. But I'm really hoping that these organizers now will help me stay on track so we can have that nice clean closet all the time. I'm just popping you into my living room shortly because this is where I do a practice yoga. So after I moved to Las Vegas, I, I started weightlifting because so we have a really nice gym here with weightlifting, but I've mentioned in a few videos that actually weightlifting, high intensity workouts, uh, CrossFit, different things like that, they can actually be adding more stress to the body. So since my body is already super stressed right now, when I was doing activities like weightlifting, it was only adding more stress and more inflammation to my body. So I decided to go back to yoga. I used to practice yoga every single morning in Iowa. And then when I got here, I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to feel and look stronger. And I figured I might as well take advantage of this gym that's included in my rent, so why not? But when I got my results and I started to talk to my doctor and look around a little bit more what changes I could make, definitely more low impact workouts were recommended. I talked about trying to strive for 10,000 steps daily. Also going back to yoga and more low impact Pilates. Uh, I follow blog Pilates. I do some of her workouts, reformer Pilates. We have that offered here at my gym. And then also just getting back into yoga. So I actually purchased this yoga mat because again, I was like, I had my old one and I felt like I was kind of slipping on it. I've had that one for many years. And I thought, you know, you're getting back into this and you're making good changes to your body. Like you should be able to treat yourself to a new yoga mat. So this is the one that I got. It's actually from the Blogilates line, which is available at Target. It's a vegan suede mat. I really like this because I don't have any issues with slipping. I liked the color. And again, as well, I'm just like a big advocate for buying a cute workout outfit, or uh, I've talked about like my water bottles that I really like to help keep me on track. Whatever it is, it's gonna help keep you 
motivated to make positive changes in your life i think are a good thing so that's why i got my new yoga mat from a target and i absolutely love it and this is just where i practice in the morning and um, i actually did buy a new rug from amazon i can show you that too. i just bought this gray rug from amazon because otherwise we just had uh, my hard floor and that it was another reason why i bought the mat because it's definitely more padded than my other one um, but I still wanted something a little bit more especially because I like hop and jump on the yoga mat and that sort of thing So I just bought this rug from Amazon It helps kind of give my living room a little bit more of a homey feel even though I run my whole business out of here So sometimes this doesn't always feel the most homey to me, but I'm trying to make a little change there So yeah, I just grabbed the rug on Amazon and I just spread my yoga mat out on this and practice in my right, We are gonna end it in my kitchen because like I said, I'm doing the elimination diet I've been getting really more into meal prepping and just having easy grab and go items in my fridge anything that i can just grab easily i have realized is very key for me but because i'm doing the elimination diet i'm cutting out some items that i'm highly sensitive to I really want to focus on adding good products in like i mentioned i just wanted to buy some cute products that i feel like would help me so i've always wanted to get bins for my fridge i've just never done it but i bought this set it came with more than i thought i don't know why i thought it only came with like four or something like that so i can use these for my fridge i could use these for makeup i could use this in the bathroom for skincare so i'm gonna see how many um like realistically i do in my fridge i'm gonna be doing some fridge makeover videos too either for youtube or i'll post them on instagram which is march beauty word or tiktok which is by samantha march uh like i did a trader joe's haul today all about the elimination diet and what i bought so in here i know that i want to do like my fruits and veggies and that sort of thing so those were the first things that I bought and I think that I can carry over to other parts of my house, which is great. And then I saw these on TikTok and I was like, I really want these. They had a few different colors, but a lot of them were sold out or they were on like back order. So these are a seal tight glass bowl. Once again, just for meal prepping, cutting up fruits and veggies. I got the one in cream and I think that these are a really nice size. Um, you know, strawberries, cucumbers, raspberries, anything like that, watermelon. Um, so I wanted to start with the two and I got the smaller bowls. These are uh, 16 ounce bowls. I wanted to start with these and see what I thought of them because they were a little bit more pricey, but I'm like, if I like them and if they do kind of keep me motivated to keep, because like one of the hardest parts is cutting up all the fruits, cutting up all the vegetables. It's like, ah, um, and then making sure that they're just in something where I can grab and easily go but if they help keep me on track then i'm gonna buy more of these and a few different sizes too so i wanted to grab those uh, i also got a set of these and these came in four so these are like little glass bowls here um, i've seen people use these for like pudding or once again just filling this with fruits and veggies like i've seen some people fill it with water and put like their celery in here their cucumbers that sort of thing um, so you can use it as a glass you can use it as a container story very open-minded and i'm very actually quite excited for this like i mentioned i was just in san diego and i got really sick and i'm so tired of being sick and i'm so i'm just tired like i i like i feel like i'm gonna cry i'm just tired of not feeling well and not feeling like myself and i'm I like I just I feel like I've gotten to the point where it's like I I'm nervous to do the elimination diet but I'm also I really am just like in an 85% positive mindset like yeah I'll miss my nachos for a little bit and yeah I'll miss my coffee for a little bit but if I come out of this and I feel better and I'm not so bloated all the time like I will be thrilled so you know pot like I feel like it's your mindset going into so many of these things and i talked about in my haul today that i did for trader joe's that for the fa first phase of my elimination diet i want to focus on what i'm adding in so i bought different products that i've never tried before like sweet potatoes coconut milk because i'm sensitive to almonds and dairy um so i got like coconut milk for my smoothie just different uh, especially whole foods that i can add into my diet i wanted to focus on that before i focus on what i'm taking away and so that's what that's what the plan is that's that's how i'm personally going after the elimination diet um, but i also got these little bags so these are just little storage silicone bags 
and I use plastic bags all of the time. Like if I cut something up, especially peppers, and if I have like my one little container, if it's already being used for something, I put these in a plastic bag and I'm like, okay, that's not great. So these are really nice because they are reusable and they seal super easy, so that's nice. Um, and then once I'm done, I can just wash these out and then I can keep using them. So I started with two, again, just to kind of see how I liked them and see if I'm really reaching for them a lot. But I think that I will because I know how often I go through plastic bags and it's not good. So these are a much better option. Um, again, all of these will be linked down below. I just got everything off of Amazon. And then lastly, I just got some cute glasses. I'm obsessed with getting like cute cups and glasses. I don't know what it is. I've talked about some in the past. I will also have just my Amazon favorite storefront linked down below because I have some more in there like my water bottle is linked. Um, I have some other glasses that I mentioned too. But it's something where it's like, okay, I'm gonna be cutting out coffee. I go to Starbucks quite a bit. I'm gonna be cutting that out, um, just caffeine in general, alcohol, sugary drinks. I love me some lemonade. I'm really gonna be focusing especially on tea. I've really recently gotten into tea. So I thought, what can I do that can make this cute? And I found these, like how fun are those? Decent size. So like a cute mason jar and it does have the bamboo lid and then it has these gold straws. I was like, this is perfection. Like this, once again, it's just one of those things that it's like, I feel like this is gonna make me happier. And instead of reaching for something that's not great for me, I can, you know, throw some ice and some tea in here and sip this and I'm excited about it. So these are the last items that I got Right now, like I said, I th I'm probably gonna end up buying a little bit more. I just wanna see how everything works for me before I go too overboard. I just wanna see how I do. I wanna see if it actually does help me, but I'm excited and I look forward to meal planning and being able to create my own cute videos of like putting my fruit in here. You know, it's just the little things that we have to get excited about to help keep us motivated. So I will have everything linked down below, like I mentioned, but that's gonna do it for today's video. I have some more videos coming for you soon, especially about the elimination diet and kind of how it goes for me. I don't really know what to expect. Um, I don't know how my body's going to react or what I, how I'm going to feel mentally while I do it, but I will definitely keep you updated. Again, another thank you to Necessary for sponsoring a portion of this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing about their products and my thoughts while using them. Again, everything is going to be linked down below. A reminder that you can get that body ritual for just $100 and the discount code is SM10 to use at checkout on the website. Thank you all so much for your support during this time though. Um, it's a little bit different content for me, but it's just what I'm going through in life right now. I like to be really open about what it is that I'm going through and sharing what is helping me. So thank you for your support and your encouraging comments, especially when it comes to advocating for our own health. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, of course, but as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.